What about cold cold water plunging? So I'm a huge fan of cold water plunging, but probably not for the reasons why you think. You know, um, I also sit on the board of the NFL um, uh, Alumni Association Athletica as a health service director. You know, there, there was a time when we used to think that putting athletes in cold water after exercise was good because of its anti-inflammatory effects. We know now that that's only about 15% of the benefit. The majority of the benefit comes from something called a cold shock protein. If you really want to be fascinated, Google cold shock proteins. These are reserve proteins that are in your liver. They're dumped into the bloodstream in an effort to save your life when you put yourself in cold water. They scour the body of free radical oxidation. They increase the rate of protein synthesis, muscle repair. They are free. You get them when you put yourself in cold water. Um, I don't know what the Celsius conversion is, but I use 50 degrees for three minutes minimum six minutes maximum cold yes it's it's actually not that cold i mean you know i see people getting in 37 38 degree water there's no evidence that i've read that shows that colder is better you get a peripheral vasoconstriction so it forces all the oxygen into the core and up to the brain um and you ask you get an activation of something called brown fat right um thermogenesis comes from brown fat and for the women that are listening for some reason i seem to ensnare the women when i say this remember that the definition of a calorie is a measure of heat, right? I mean, the definition of a calorie is the amount of energy it takes to raise one cubic centimeter of water, one degree centigrade. So if, if, if a calorie is a measure of heat, then this means that when heat's leaving your body, calories are leaving your body. So if there is nothing, nothing, no amount of exercise hits cardio, no type of cardiovascular or weight training that comes anywhere close to immersing yourself in cold water in terms of what will strip fat off your body fast. If you want to strip fat off your body, get in cold water three to six minutes a day. That's fascinating. Because because the oxygen rushes to my head, that's why it has a really profound impact on mood. That's why it has a very profound impact on mood. Because if you think about it, what's the reason why we need deep sleep? What happens in deep sleep that's so special? There's a secondary oxygen transfer. We transfer oxygen from the periphery, from the extremities, to the brain. Remember, the brain's a non-metabolic organ. So in other words, it's unlike a muscle. If I pick up a weight and start to work out my muscle, my arm, my body will send more blood, more amino acids, more oxygen to that muscle because it's working. Well, if I'm sitting at my computer and I'm watching reruns of The Simpsons, or I'm sitting at my computer and I'm solving the most complex joint venture agreement, partnership agreement with all kinds of mathematical equations, my brain gets the same amount of nutrients. Same amount of blood flow, same amount of oxygen. So it eats the same meal, whether or not it's in a dead sprint or whether or not it's just chilling on the couch, except in deep sleep and when you're in cold water because it's forcing the oxygen up to the brain.